Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 80. Today we have a simple problem here on the blackboard. We are simply being asked to convert a given figure from a miles per hour from miles per hour to feet per second. A sort of problem you might expect to find in any of these te uh, tests. If you're preparing for ACT or SAT or TEs or GMAT or GRE, this is, this is a fair game for any of these tests. They will simply ask you, they will simply give you the speed in miles per hour and to convert, ask you to convert it into feet per second. And of course they will always tell you how many feet there are in a mile. Here we are told, obviously it's given that one mile equals 5,280 feet. Let's get going, shall we? Enough of the talk. So we know that we are going 9 miles per hour. We are going 9 miles in 1 hour. But we also know, which is same as 9 miles in, but we also know that 9 miles is made up, uh, we also know that 9 miles in 1 hour, of course, we also know that that is same as 9 miles in, that this should say 1 hour. 9 miles in 1 hour, but of course we know that 1 hour is same as 60 minutes. And we also know that 60 minutes will have 60 times 60 seconds. That's it, we're almost there. 9 miles in this many seconds, we're going 9 miles in this many seconds. That implies that if you were to divide 9, well, we should also convert it into feet. We should have done it into feet. Let's convert it right here, 9 times 5,280 feet. If we were to divide that by this many seconds, 60 times 60 seconds, there we go. We have our feet per seconds, feet over seconds. 9 times 5,280 divided by 60 times 60 is what we have figured out. We'll do it on the top here. Let's do it on the top here. Nine times five thousand two hundred eighty over sixty times sixty, and of course the point here is to be able to do this thing without a calculator. And these are feet, and these are seconds. Let's begin our process, shall we? We see zero on the top. We see a zero on the bottom here. One of the number is a multiple of ten. One of the number on the top is a multiple of ten. Let's begin by dividing top and bottom by ten. How do we show our work? Oh, it's very simple, just knock out a zero. All done, all over and done with. I see a nine here, I see a 60 here, let's divide top and bottom by three. There is no particular sequence. You can go in any sequence you want, you can go anywhere you want, as long as you pay attention and don't end up making any careless mistakes. That's all there is. There is no right and wrong way. There is no right or wrong sequence of steps. Do you understand? Just do it any way you like. So then I'm gonna divide top and bottom by three. If we divide nine by three, it becomes three. 60 divided by 60 divided by 3, 6 has 2 3's and then 0. It becomes 20 of course, 60 divided by 3 is 20, we are done. What else can we do here? Let's work on this one here. Let's work on this one here. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. 5 has 2 2's, 5 has 2 2's, the remaining one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12. 12 has 6 2's and 8 has 4 2's. Since we divided the since we divided the since we divided the top by two, we have to divide the bottom by two, which means this ten, this twenty becomes ten. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You will see it in a second why it's easy to leave it alone. Because at the end, it doesn't matter what is on the top. Whatever we end up on the top, dividing it by ten is much easier. We just have to put a decimal point. We just have to get rid of the six. Let's divide. Oh, there we go. There is a three, and there is a six. Let's divide top and bottom by three. Three is going to go away, and six becomes two. Well, let's divide top and bottom by 2. That's a nice number there, divisible by, divisible by 2. So it's going to be 2 has 1, 2, 6 has 3, 2's, and 4 has 2, 2's. And that 2 goes away. That's it, we're done. So it's 132 feet, it's 132 feet over, don't forget this 10 here, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 132 divided by 10 is simply going to be 13.2. Uh, let's do it here. 13.2 feet 
for a second. I changed my mind because there is no room to put a unit there. That's it, we're done. The answer is 13.2 feet per second. That's all. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye.